The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. During a meeting with visiting Thai Senate President Tiradej Mipian, President Dung Tung Shang of Aulak or Vietnam commends the growing cooperation between the two countries as he also conveys his wish for continued mutual expansion. Chile's Congress approves a voter reform measure that offers greater representation through an automatic registration system that establishes eligibility for nearly 5 million new citizen voters. Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyad al-Malki and counterparts from the Mercosur countries of Uruguay, Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina sign a free trade agreement with the Palestinian minister, also conveying his wish that Mercosur nations trading with Israel contribute to peace in the Middle East. Researchers at the University of Illinois in the USA develop a new bandage called a microvascular stamp, which encourages the growth of blood vessels on the surface of wounds and is intended to benefit a number of medical areas. The Italian Cooperation, a public and private humanitarian organization of Italy, donates funds for two mobile clinics to support the Somalia-based Young Doctors Association in treating more than 200 women and children asylum seekers daily in Mogadishu, the 42nd U.S. President Bill Clinton pledges a match of two U.S. dollars from his personal funds for every one U.S. dollar donated to his charitable foundation by the end of 2011 for initiatives that include improved global treatment for AIDS and malaria, as well as ways to address climate change. The UK-based anti-smoking charity Ash Scotland states that a person who smokes 20 cigarettes a day could save at least 2,500 pounds each year by quitting. In addition to health benefits, such as improved circulation, as well as reduced risk of heart attack, coronary disease, and lung cancer. Thanks to the generosity of British citizens, international charity Save the Children raised more than £7 million since July 2011 for humanitarian supplies to benefit 1.7 million drought-affected children in East Africa, making the campaign the most successful in the organization's history.